fierce jungle beasts surround a party of castaways, shipwrecked for coast. Leading the party is a hunter named Harris, whom each of the others is following for a special reason. The one whom Harris least suspects is Robert Grant, a young American disguised as an Arab. Grant escaped from prison to trail Harris and recover a letter which he believes will clear him murder charge. Muriel Armitage, the only person who knows Grant's secret, is interested in Harris because she suspects that he had a hand in the mysterious disappearance of her brother Tom. But he was really spirited away by a cunning Arab named Mustafa, who intends to make his prisoner reveal the location of a rich diamond deposit. Harris also after the diamonds and is using his monster ape man, Bimi, to trail Mustafa's a native tribe against the whites, and a horde of warriors swoop down upon them. <laughs> Get far. Oh. oh, shipwreck! A 
animals, volcanoes, cannibals, skeletons, wardeners. You're afraid. Maybe we'll find something else by imminent. Oh, I'm so afraid. like we're inside the crater of an old volcano. It's liable to erupt at any minute. Get me out of here, quick! Right, the doc just what we've been trying to do. How is he? No better, not. Has he said anything about the diamonds? Nothing. All he does is call for his sister. The diamonds. Muriel. Oh, I won't tell them. Muriel. Where are you, sir? Oh, I knew you'd come, sir. I never told you, but it's, it's funny the way I found them. I, uh... You're not my sister. Oh. When the fever has left him, we make him talk. Pardon, Master, but a strange Arab has arrived in camp and is asking for you. A strange Arab? Yes. They Arab who come to the black village with Harris. Who is it indeed you, my friend? I thought your mission take you back to Lobenga. As you know, my mission is a man, and with his trail lead, I follow. You expect to find Harris in my camp? I didn't even know you had a camp. I was trailing Harris, but I lost his trail. Muriel, where are you? Oh, Muriel, they want to find the diamonds now. I won't help. Oh, Muriel. Enter, my brother, and be at rest. I go to order refreshment for you. May it please you, Excellency. A strange beast attacked our people at the water hole, killing a camel. What beast? A lion? Like no lion we ever see. We dug a pit, and with the dead camel we baited it, and the animal fell into it. Let me see this strange beast. Yeah. Hey, Master. That's the one right here. What is it? An Indian tiger in Africa. Perhaps from the steamer that was wrecked. Well, does nice love him, Master? No. I have other plans. Pitch a tent over the grating. And let no man come near. The tent, Master? Yes. Perhaps before long, we catch something else besides tiger. Yes, yes, Master. Yes, Master. But to find me for... Pardons, my friend. Oh, my brother, you have had a fatiguing day. I leave you to rest. No, oh, please. No ceremony. Oh, 
Don't go up there. You can't tell what may be hiding behind those rocks, ready to jump out on you. I'm not afraid. Well, I guess I'll have to go along with you then. What difference does it make, whether it's blue or green? Well, blue clay in this part of the country means only one thing, and that's diamond. Diamond? Yes, come on, let's go see. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we found a new field of diamonds? No, you don't find me breaking my neck up here. I'll go back to the big rock and wait there for you. All right. Oh, Mrs. Colby! Your suspicions were justified, Master. Fool is walking to his fate. Well done, Ildre. The night in the pit will cure the sick boys upon this. And by morning, he'll be ready to talk. Armitage, are you there? This is Grant, your sister's friend. 